Hello everybody, it is Penny Shelton here for another episode of Foodie Friday. And as I was thinking about what to make this week, a couple of things flashed through my mind. First of all, what do I already have in my pantry that I might be able to put to good use? And what's growing out in my herb garden that I might be able to include? And what's on sale at the grocery store? So this is actually a more budget-friendly episode of Foodie Friday. And I also am going to try something different this week. Um, I have so many different people that are tuning in and, and watching these episodes and um, everything from fully raw individuals all the way to people that are still eating a very much a standard American diet that are looking to upgrade and get a little bit healthier right now. What my plan is today is in the first part of this episode, I'm going to make something fully raw and totally fresh and delicious that I know that you're going to love. And then if you're interested in viewing the second part of this episode, it will be available for my members only, people that have joined my online community, um, get your groove back. And so if you would like to have full access to this video and so many other videos and so much other fresh content on a regular basis, I want to invite you to come and join my community. A link is underneath this video and I'm going to be making a plant-based cooked chana marsala. Extremely affordable and so, so delicious. So let's go get in the kitchen and see what we can create. Last Saturday, I went to the farmer's market. This is a spring salad mix. I don't have a ton of that left. It's been really good. I have spinach leaves. I have some baby kale. And then this, some really nice butter lettuce that I need to use up. So a lots of tender, delicious spring greens. And then lucky me, all of these berries I found on sale at Whole Foods. Also had some sunflower seeds in my pantry. So we're going to create a late spring salad with lemon verbena vinaigrette. That's right. Champagne vinegar, some extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of local honey. Well, it's not local to me. This um, was given to me as a gift. It's West Coast wildflower honey. I'm eager to try it. I'm gonna put the juice of half of a lime and then a little salt and pepper. I'm just gonna whiz that up together and I'll put the um, the recipe underneath this video. I'll know exactly how much of everything I'm using. Okay, I've got all the ingredients in there. Let's blend it up. Well, of course I have to taste it. You know, we might need to add something to it. Wow. I don't think I've ever really worked with lemon verbena before. This is the first year I've ever grown it. I used a small handful of leaves. And then I put a fourth of a cup of olive oil, a third of a cup of champagne vinegar, half the juice of a, lot of a lemon, which you might or might not need that actually. It, I like it, but um, you could just use the vinegar only. And then I used just a teaspoon of that raw, beautiful raw honey. Um, you wouldn't need much more than that because so, we're just balancing the flavors. And then a little bit of salt and pepper, and it's just delicious. If you like a more emulsified, like thicker dressing, you can add more olive oil. I'm kind of cutting mine down. Oh yeah, it's gonna be perfect on this salad. Well, presentation's always everything. I forgot to mention that I also had some leftover microgreens. So they're scattered on the top. Look at that delicious salad. You can see there's the lemon verbena leaves right there. Beautiful berries, fresh spring greens. I haven't dressed it yet because I wanted to let you see it. And then now I'll just drizzle the dressing on it and see how it tastes. You know it's good. I've built the perfect bite dipping it into the dressing. <laughs> mm. 
so good. Late spring berry salad with lemon verbena vinaigrette. Love it. Pure health. Your body would thank you. Okay, I want you to make that and tell me what you think. Now, for those of you who are part of my membership, we're going to carry on. We're gonna get cooking and we're gonna make some chana marsala, an Indian dish that's plant-based and it's filled with ingredients out of my pantry. So.